Good morning, everybody. This is Cloud14 or 15 if you know me from other places like YouTube or other familiar places that you might know me personally, cybernetically, however. Anyways, on the tutorial 14, uh, it's going to be a probably two to three part video. On the first video, I will be teaching you how to create a website, a free website, of course, not one of the you know, professional websites and all that crap. And on the second video, I'll be teaching you programming on Visual Basic. And this is going to be basically how to teach you how to make an updater without the needs of a database. So let's hope you like this video and you subscribe to my YouTube uh, account and blah, blah, blah. I love you guys. I am tired as hell. All right, so let's get started. Go to uh, www.webs.com. And I'm going to go step by step as to how to do it. Pick whatever the hell you want here. Get started. Email address. I don't know if they uh, send you an email. I can't remember. But this is what I used before to make my uh, other updates for my other programs. And yes, I'm putting everything which is mine. If you want to know my birthday, yeah. All right, site address, name it, whatever the hell you want, 00000000001. Just remember that site address because that's what you're going to use. That's what you're going to use to log into your website, basically. Site title, test. And then uh, pick something here, enthusiast. And then scenic. And then I agree and continue to your next step. You're halfway there. I don't, oh yeah, untick all this crap that you don't need. Huh, they have a web store, never knew that. Alright, they're going to bring you here. You don't need to do anything here, so go to publish. And then publish all places. I mean pages, not places. You'll need to do nothing in this page at all. And then you're going to go to file manager. In here, though, you're going to upload your files, text files, and that's where we're going to begin our next tutorial. But for, for now, just for now, you're going to upload one text file to your program, or to, I mean, to your website, not program, because this is not a program, and rename it to sitever.txt, and save it, and then go to edit, and then wait. And type 2.0. This is basically going to tell your program whenever we're done with it that it needs an update. So thank you for finish. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create your own little website. Have a good day or night, whatever you're in right now. Bye bye. F10.